Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. We've managed to get rid of two of the Mariachis and we've got one left and we also got this blank time card last time out, which I've been told is because we broke the uh, printer in the next room. Apparently that's why it's blank. Now, the only thing I can think of doing with this is to try it in the elevator. Yeah, it does go there. There's, there's another slot we didn't know about. I don't think he wants this hot fudge sundae. There's the other sound. Alright, here we go. Where is this going to take us to? Daredevil was theorising maybe the time of the dinosaurs, because birds are descendants of the dinosaurs, like chickens. Just look at it, Max. Yeah. What am I looking at exactly? Everything. Our entire universe. Before the creation of matter and energy and quantum particles or something. Oh, well, it's at this that. spot that everything you know or will ever know, will be Mr. Featherly. Oh, what? Hey guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> what on earth? There's a singularity here. Let's have a look at this. That's the singularity from which the entire universe is going to spring in a mind-bendingly tremendous cataclysm. Neat. Yeah, it's quite neat. Uh, why is Mr. Featherly here? <laughs> Mr. Featherly? Sam and Max? How does he also know us? Funny meeting you here. Are you really the oldest living creature in existence? Or are you the last of a race of terrifying elder gods bent on restoring chaos to our upstart universe? I hope so. Neither. I assure you I arrived here quite by accident. Oh. Okay. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? I was filming the climactic volcanic eruption scene in Midtown Cowboys, the motion picture. Suddenly, I found myself abducted onto some type of alien spacecraft. After a frightfully amateurish song and dance number, I was deposited unceremoniously into the beginning of the universe. Nice. Oh, that old story. <laughs> yeah, that one. Midtown Cowboys movie? Wait, wait, wait. There's a Midtown Cowboys movie? We didn't uh, know. Yes, well, I'm, I'm sure we were going to call you, but we decided to go in a different direction. Oh, come on. Oh, we have got to get a new agent, Sam. <laughs> you can't do Midtown Cowboys without Sam and Max. Nice weather we're having. <laughs> How do you like it here around the Singularity? I thought dinner theater in Ocala, Florida was dull. But that was nothing compared to, well, nothing. <laughs> uh, this can't be all bad. Being here at the start of it all can't be all bad. Well, I will give it one thing. The acoustics are outstanding! <laughs> <laughs> come with us? Why don't you come with us, Mr. Fatherly? I'm sorry. I can't let you do that, Sam and Max. Uh... That chicken is the source of all life in the universe. What? Removing him would cause a catastrophic temporal paradox. Catastrophic temporal paradox! <laughs> Mr. Featherly's not the only chicken around here. <laughs> hmm. Apparently I am. And there's the rub. Uh, okay, so long. See you around, Mr. Featherly. Probably not, Sam, since he'll be long dead before we're even born. Yeah. Oh, right then. Hang loose, Philo. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to find a way to get him out of here. So, um, can we scan him with this? We can. That's weird. It just printed out another useless blank time card. Are you sure you're not really older than the known universe, Mr. Featherly? As always, I have become the role in which I was cast. <laughs> Alright, well that didn't work. That just gave us another blank time card, which we don't even get to keep. Um, can we use the egg? You've been doing a good job, Mr. Featherly, but we decided to cast someone... Oh yeah, younger. I think we can. Very well. As long as I can leave this accursed... Uh, wait, what are you doing? Put me down at once! Suck it up, Featherly. It only takes a day or two to get used to Sam's caustic B.O. <laughs> Curse you, Max and Sam! Time stream altered. Nice. Jackass. <laughs> so, Sam and Max basically created life in the universe, right, with this egg. <laughs> so that's a thing. Bet you didn't know that fact, did you, people? That's the real origins of the universe right there. Right, let's go home. <laughs> So, I mean, oh, we've Put actually me down got. At... Wait, where are you going? 
We've actually got Mr. Featherly in our inventory now. So do we just... I'm guessing we just show Mr. Featherly to the Mariachi to be like, here's the chicken from, you know, the first ever chicken. Even though technically he's not, is he? <laughs> but, you know, technicalities and all that. You know, what's a, li what's a little lie in the grand scheme of things of this game, right? Dear God, man, do you ever wash that coat? Stay on the con el pollo. He's from before time began. Yeah, turns out the chicken came first. Hmm, it makes no sense. If that's the chicken, what's there and now? Well, we left an egg. Yeah. Likely story. I'll have to see that egg. Oh, come on. But, 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 I'm just kidding. Oh. Boy, you past people are so gullible. <laughs> I really it's thought you meant that. No! Don't put me back in there! <laughs> Any more questions about the nature of our existence? No, the chicken was the big one. Vaya con Dios, Maxi Sam. Oh, I think we did it. Now the spaceship is ours to command. Ensign Sam, set course for ancient Rome. Our mission, to hunt Caligula. Stop gooping off, Max. Yeah. We've got to extend that bridge and return Bosco's soul. What's happening? I don't want to go! Oh, no. Oh, pfft. Great. Now we'll have to figure out how to get all up in there. Oh, well done, Max. Check this out, Max. A thousand years spent shivering in Antwerp. Oh, that, like, freezes it. You stopped time! Neat! Now make it go backwards. Ration. Ow! That's the best I can do now. Okay, can we do something to like sabotage that? No. Okay, fine. Um. No. No. Okay. Can we like gunk it up with the tar cake thing? Oh, well, we might be able to, you know. Uh, yeah. It's... A thousand years spent shivering in Antwerp. Okay, so what else have we got here? There's a suck button. It won't do anything while time is frozen. Oh, okay. Uh, fine. It won't do anything while time is frozen. Right, so time is frozen now. What can we do while time is frozen? Do anything here? Poor Bosco. The horror of time-traveling mariachis was too much for his weak heart to bear. Oh, we've got... Oh, okay, so there's a bridge button here. Attempt to enter soul-crushing area. Please acknowledge. We got rid of them all. Just make with the bridge already. Yeah. All right, all right. Standing bridge. Wait, what? Hola, Sam y Max. You don't know us, but we are time traveling mariachis. We say warning from the future. Whatever you do, do not extend that bridge. Bit late. Bridge extended. For <laughs> embodied uh -oh. in time vortex, self destruct sequence engaged. Oh. Madre de Dios, let's get out of here. We could cover some more birthday. Okay. Pedro, you take the bog in the diner. Pedro, <laughs> you take the statue-loving lady on Easter Island. I'll take the monster. Oh, yeah. Good All luck, right. maxi -san. Were we meant to do this? Setting course for the beginning of the universe. I guess we were? Total destruction imminent. So, Sam, is now a good time to start pulling my hair out and wetting myself in panic? Knock yourself out now. Better hurry, though. Oh no, we can, we can, we can do things. Okay. So, do we have to? Do we have to um, press this button to get Bosco's body to go up? Yeah, it looks like it. The soul vacuum is only strong enough to suck Bosco's corpse up halfway. They oh. can make a time-traveling spaceship, but they can't invent an interdimensional portal that doesn't lose suction. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh, this thing's spinning again, so maybe we have to do this? 
Don't finish that sentence. Alright, now what happens if we do this? It won't do anything while time is frozen. Ah, yeah, okay. So, um... Alright, well, the self-destruct thing and the bridge thing are both fine. What's going through these pipes? I, I'm, I mean, I'm doubting there actually is a self-destruct sequence going on here. Do we have to... No. Do we have to do it in the, the opposite direction? Like as in do that one first and then do the this thing? So I say no, I'm not going to start an earthquake and he's all. Okay. Do we press it again or something? It's already sucking. Okay. What do we do now? Can we, do we like, go out there? Approaching beginning of the universe. Destruction imminent. Go, little buddy. It's now or never. Where do you think this portal goes? Oh, we're going through. The spaceship set to self-destruct and hurtling towards the beginning of the universe. All right, Sam. <laughs> what was that sound? Looks like we're going back to the beginning of the universe. Wow, okay, <laughs> that's the end of the episode. <laughs> it's just going to leave it on a cliffhanger, cool. Uh, this was a really good one, really enjoyed this. Wasn't expecting the Mariachis to be them, but um, really, really good. No idea where this goes next. Obviously, the next episode is the last one for Beyond Time and Space, but then we've got Season 3 as well, so I can't wait to play that. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadin, and Paul Leon, and I'll see you next time. Where are we going? Ah, back to the singularity. Ah, <laughs> that's what caused the big bang. <laughs>